Hi everybody, the sun just came out and I thought I'd uh, go for a walk with all of you. Uh, so let's, let's take a walk. This is a sedge planting we did five years ago. This is fifth year now. And it was the whole house. We have Carex Pennsylvanica. You see it filling in, look how nicely it's filling in. See the density of the foliage filling in. This is its fifth year, how beautiful that is. There's on this side. We use Carex bromoides, Carex albicans is in here. We have nice clumps of Carex albicans through here, along the edge. We have Carex grissia in here, a dark green Carex grissia. Just a limited amount of grissia because it recedes aggressively, so we didn't use too much. And then we come to the front, there's the lake. The lake is beautiful right now, it's very quiet here. And then we have the Carex Pennsylvanica along the side. Carex uh, albicans. More Carex Pennsylvanica albicans. As we get farther down the slope, we have uh, Carex bromoides. You can see how we're going downhill where the piers are. Carex Pennsylvanica. More Pennsylvanica and uh, bromoides. And this is five, this is its fifth year. So I'm really, really happy with the performance and how they're doing. Here we've added some Dropterus marginalis. We're putting in some leatherwood ferns, young leatherwood ferns. This is their second here from a one gallon container. We're popping those in. We might do 40 or so a year. So this has been a lot of fun, but I think the, the, the level of quality is really picking up, like I said, in the fifth year. So I hope you enjoy this quick sedge tour and you can see possibilities for Carex in so many places. And, you know, I think Vinca and Pacassandra, they all had a wonderful run from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. But I think the sedges are finding a way into, into, into the landscape in a very healthy way and creating a healthy life for all the plants they intermingle with, including trees and shrubs. Thanks everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye.